Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. And we invite you to subscribe over at Heart Zone, where we go deep into some of the spiritual questions that we see uh, on all three channels. And, you know, that's something we enjoy doing. It just comes uh, so naturally to us, the spiritual deep dives. It does. It does. And it's it's fulfilling, very fulfilling. And I also want to thank our newest patron. Absolutely. We want to say a huge thank you to Elizabeth, <coughs> Zena, and Tina. Thank you guys so much for being part of this family and your support over there. So we'll take a look and see what will the winter bring. Well, you know, again, you got to take the farmer's almanac. You got to take all forecasting, really, with a big grain of salt. But this is what they are saying we're going to see because now uh, we have switched into a full-blown new cycle with the Pacific water currents. And so what are we going to see? As you see here, if you're in Texas and, you know, everywhere from New Mexico, Louisiana, Arkansas, unseasonably cold and stormy, chilled and wet over in the southeast, cold and stormy up through uh, Kentucky and up into Michigan, Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, and then we see over in New England, cold and snowy and frosty, flaky and slushy. The, well, you know, I guess you would expect all this, wouldn't you, in the winter? But over in California, Arizona, Nevada, and some of Utah, wintry temps seasonably stormy. And the Pacific Northwest seasonably cold and wet. And basically pretty average up through uh, this is one of the tougher areas to get through honestly uh, you guys get some of the worst of the extremes up in Montana Dakotas uh, and and the rest of this area through here in Nebraska and Kansas it takes a hearty person absolutely so guys what will it bring we'll see and now we know when it comes to preparation there's one thing always on the minds of uh of the power structure to be clear if you're in a state where hurricanes often strike like florida or the gulf coast or into texas a vital part of preparing for hurricane season is to get vaccinated now so again i guess you know he would have the same recommendation as we prepare for the fall and head into the winter you know it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Bigger purposes underway. Bigger purposes. Well, you know, right here you see from Wide Awake Media, 1991, shortly after the collapse of communism. Again, these terms, they're just tools. They're just tools. And yet so, so often, in fact, you know, I, I do think it's it's still probably the majority that don't see through, but that number is getting smaller. When you when you look to communism and and we look to socialism and all these labels, what do they help do? They help to divide us into different camps from which we can uh, go ahead and be easily manipulated to constantly fight each other. Mm-hmm. I know it, it just keeps going on and on, and then dropping all of these. Um, all of these hints and and the gaslighting, the gaslighting that goes on through the movies is just incredible to me. Oh, it sure is. But to continue on, we're talking about the Club of Rome. And they released a document entitled The First Global Revolution, in which they declare global warming as the next big thing and, and a reason to quote unquote save the planet. You know, we got save the planet from global warming by wiping out the planet basically is what they have done they have done this you know again and i we we tried to get this video up last night and they blocked it um so we removed a few pieces from it which will go up on patreon only and see if we could get this through uh this way but it, it's all part of that bigger uh, picture again you know when there's things that can seriously help people's health and they don't really cost anything or they're minimal compared to the billions and billions of trillions of dollars that are made uh, with modern medicine, you know, on down the line. And they're declared uh, illegal or outlawed or they are 
totally lambasted into being woo-woo and witchcraft and da-da-da or pseudoscience. You know, again, science is sales. That's sad, but that is the truth. Science that they give us is sales. This is and and you know, humanity is waking up, even though it's still the minority. As you see, uh, I've seen this estimated anywhere from 30 to 100,000 people uh, in Warsaw, Poland, coming out and protesting against, uh, you know, the government, period. Yeah, you know, we need to realize there is really only one problem in this world, and it's, it's the structure, the power structure. The power structure is the problem. It's an intentional problem. As you see, this post uh, saying basically the W E the few has taken control of several American military bases in Panama. Not not armed control, but but manipulative control. And real and the reality is, it's it's done through the UN. And you know, one puppet to another, they're all controlled. We think we have national sovereignty. That's been an illusion the entire time. They work within the, the illusion of national sovereignty to utilize it for their benefit. The reality is, again, uh, this is part of that next stage in planning. As you see, you know, we, we talked about Panama. Panama is uh, the area that you have so many people going through this narrow little strip of land, making their way up north. We've talked about Venezuela emptying out their prison uh, system and sending people up north. It's all part of the bigger plan. And, and here you have NGOs that are picking up. This one is geobarons, collecting the migrants and bringing them ashore. You know, we saw that one little island in Italy be absolutely overrun. Two to three times the amount of citizens on the island were brought in illegally. Two to three times all males, all for pretty much all military age. This one, they didn't even hide it. I mean, I, I didn't see really a single woman or child in the bunch. Um, and who's doing this? Well, you know, when you look and you, you look at Geo Barents and you look at some of these different names... These NGOs, whether they're German, whether they're Norwegian, Spanish, English, they tie back to these same groups, like Doctors Without Borders, that ties back to the UN. Yes, absolutely. This is so obvious. It's so obvious. Western governments are absolutely complicit in this crisis. Well, I mean, it's more than Western governments because there really, really is only one true governmental power structure. All the rest is just all for show and, and illusion. And to just give us the sense that we are really, we're all battling amongst ourselves because we can't come to an agreement. Well, yeah, it's not because we can't come to an agreement. It's because the system keeps us battling amongst ourselves so we don't realize we're manipulated from above. Mm -hmm. We are, and, and it's so unfortunate, and it just keeps going back to that idea of uh, red ants and black ants in a jar just getting along just fine until someone picks up the jar and they rattle it, and then all of a sudden red ants and black ants are, are fighting each other but they because they think each other is the problem and that's where we're at and we have to rise above the situation in any way we can and make a process to where we're not just going against each other because everyone needs to make a living we all need a form of energy exchange we everyone on this planet deserves a place to live a place to sleep to be happy to be fulfilled and we have the, we have everything we need to do that, you know, if there wasn't so much indoctrination embedded into societies and generations of, uh, generations of, of things where really bad things happen and children saw their parents struggle or they saw their siblings die and now, you know, they want to come over and, and they want payback. They, they want payback. So we're really kind of up against each other. Um, rising above that is one way to bring about more of a symbiotic program. Okay, so um, 
I'm getting kind of like the uh, impetus to go in a little different direction here or spend time going down a little different rabbit hole as I'm looking at this. Western governments, okay, we, uh, we would covered that part. It's not just Western governments per se. The UN Migrant Pact determines all migrants from 2025. Oh, there's that date. Those, remember those number, numbers? D-E-A-G-E-L 2025 will be classed as climate migrants and must be housed, given jobs, educated. 164 member states agreed in 2018. Now, there's laws, there's things that were signed back then that there is a time period where people can, you know, rile up their politicians enough, you know, put enough wood on the fire to to start roasting their, their butts so they're uncomfortable and they pull the nation from this agreement. But if it's not done, then it automatically takes effect. This was back in 2018, but then we've seen that this is really a, a global initiative. When you take people and uproot them, like the Trail of Tears, let's think about uh, all the Cherokee and the Creek, you know, that were living in the southeastern U.S. They were uprooted and they were marched, of which, you know, a huge portion of them didn't make the march and sent over to Oklahoma for their the new relocation and we we saw that with the indigenous people in the americas they were uprooted they were taken from their homeland that they were there for generations and generations and generations and they were sent somewhere else in in many cases they got some of the worst of the land left and, and look to uh yeah, we've been through all through hopi land and we've been through navajo and and many different uh, reservation areas. We, we lived on a reservation area in New Mexico. So we saw it all the time. You know, this is a very, very poor area and it doesn't have a lot of natural resources. This is part of the part of those plans there. So 780 million people are eligible to claim asylum in the UK. The UK has a population of like 68 million and the, the DEA GEL numbers forecast 15 million in 2025. Yeah, and 15 million is exactly, <clears throat> exactly the number Boris Johnson, his dad, stated in a book as to, and also publicly uh, giving interviews as to the ideal population of the UK. Yeah, 15 million, ideal, ideal population. Is that just a coincidence? I don't think so. No, no, I, I don't think so at all. You know, this is something where if you're in the mainstream and doing what mainstream tells you to do, you're going to miss the signs. You're going to miss the flags where you need to take a left turn and a right turn. Take any turn, but don't go down the middle. Don't remain down the middle because that's just going to... We can see how they've set up one trap after the next after the next for those who are not paying attention. And, and that's one reason why I like to keep an eye on this stuff so I know when to make a left or make a right and just get out of the way of that freight train. It's going to keep going. So, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, my voice here. I'm getting my throat chakra attacked again. You know, this this comes to mind right here. <clears throat> As we see Business Insider uh, article, China's 1.4 billion population can't fill the, ho the country's millions of empty homes. Uh, in fact, I, I've seen estimates that say that they could actually house another billion people. And most of these ghost cities, remember the ghost cities? Most of the ghost cities are in desert areas. They are out in the middle of nowhere. Hmm. What are they going to do with those? Why are they building those empty cities? People have always talked about this. Why are they building those empty cities? Well, <clears throat> just throwing it out there, the, the, the system is very, very redundant. They do the same thing time and time and time again. So what if this is another realm of, of you know, what if they're basically building re reservations for a new population? Mm -hmm. Right. You, you just never know. And I, I have seen these things and 
I've often wondered myself, you know, but are they hooked up to water? Are they hooked up to sewer? Is this just some place to stuff a bunch of people so they can kind of rot and die? You know, I mean, it's a horrible thought. Yes, it is. But we're not dealing with we're not dealing with nice people. We're, we're dealing with people who have an agenda and they really have no qualms about doing what they need to do to fulfill that agenda. You know, when when the Columbus came over here, he uh, brought, you know, the religion and he just deemed that everyone who is in of indigenous nature, you know, we can do what we want to them. Because why? Well, because they're the savages. So they go about and, and, and mauling and, and killing and pillaging and doing whatever they want because these indigenous people are savages. They are not saved. Um, they are not good. You know, their God is far less than our God. And so many people bought into it. And we kind of have that problem today where we have so many people looking down on others if they don't have a certain belief system. And and that's where, that's one of the turns, one of the corners that, you know, you got to make that turn and, and understand that this system is set up to trap people. So there's actually uh, 50 they say uh cities literal ghost cities this is the location of 20 of 50 so this is about 40 percent the other ones are 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 not being disclosed Uh, i've seen articles that talk about them Um, now this this is the more heavily populated side of china you know it's it's interesting to note that china and the u.s are almost identically sized and and yet china obviously 1.4 billion uh the u.s 330 million people big big difference why would they have these cities you know again were they planning on having a two and a half billion person population or is this you know again are these cities uh were they intended for refugees where they intended for climate refugees Ooh, i wonder about that you know again china it has uh some of the most oof, dystopian i mean exactly uh few oriented uh, ideological government you can imagine i mean you know you this is the world a big brother absolutely this is what's envisioned for the the entirety of the planet and you know you you have, have the few uh always praising praising china praising china and you know as a as a shining example and uh oof yeah there's the history is is always revised by by the victors and it's glorified at the same time so yeah you know what we're seeing right now uh maybe we will see a a a whole new uprooting and redivision of the population um in order to break it down and make it more homogenous interesting you know just a little tangent to go on again yeah when we look at these groups that are funding it corporations uh, should not exist corporations are a way for individuals to hide what they're doing and to you know not be held accountable for what they're doing and you know again we we know now a lot of these guys are issued uh, cards they're paid two thousand or something a month 2200 i think i saw uh, they're promised free housing, free food. Y- yeah, you know, this is all part of a redistribution. This is a big, big um, round robin is, is the term we, we got from, I don't know where it came from, whether it was the guides whispering in our head or what. But. It was, it came to us during meditation, you know, that that word it just popped right up there popped right in there and (laughs) they said remember in the third grade you played round robin they said well this is a very complex game and this is actually one of the code words that they use to carry this out yeah absolutely and so here you have the governor of new york uh basically revising her position now and asking people that are coming in to do so legally where before she was just saying we got to house these and everything probably because the pressure 
you know, it, when the pressure becomes so constant from the population all around you, it, it can make it very, very tough, uh, even on people that are part of the program and they understand the bigger purpose. 20th busload of illegal immigrants arrives in downtown Los Angeles, uh, uh, some from Texas. Again, you know, we understand Abbott has his WEF page, whether he's... Uh, completely complicit, partially complicit, you know, again, or, or being forced to, we'll never know the exact details, uh, again, uh, with each individual, because again, there are individuals that would love to buck the system, but they're terrified to do so, uh, you know, and we'll cover other issues with that. I mean, we, we, many of you guys are well aware of all the people that have had just strange accidents around some of the the families uh, of ill repute. Well, the political families like the, the ones that come from Arkansas, for instance. You know, Pope Francis claims there's no migrant emergency in Europe. Individualism is the problem. Well, let's see the Pope give up their wealth. Let's see the Catholic Church give up their wealth. They are. They are as high up the totem pole of power as there truly is on this planet from a human perspective. You know, I see them working probably the closest when we talk about these uh, beings that control mankind. Uh, they work closest with them, these, these people of the church. I mean, they're directly there and there's something that allows, something in their DNA that allows them to actually be in close proximity to them and, and that's just a really creepy thought and these are these are humans that gosh they don't look at other people as humans they look at them very differently like they need to be controlled like they're they're little pests and if they if you give them too much freedom they're just going to cause a huge mess and they need to be reined in yeah these are not nice people no, absolutely not. You know, and uh, the the atrocities that have gone on throughout time in, in the vicinity of um, because of the church is just too numerous to list in a single video. You would have to do a whole series uh, of videos to to cover it. And and again, it's just the, it's part of the power structure. It's part of controlling minds through uh, their religious indoctrination. As we see the L.A. County gas prices closing in on $8, you know, absolutely uh, no reason for anything we see. And black, other than just part, it's part of the plan, BlackRock uh, on trajectory to own 60% of American homes by 2030. Again, you know, what they have planned is the illusion of freedom is gone. It's really the illusion of freedom. You, you will know that you are a slave and, and you are just to work and not question things. Canada is to create a registry of podcasters and potential censorship initiative, which I'm sure, you know, could be tough if, if you know, you're in Canada to see videos like this soon, it, the, unless... You know, unless we push back and, and again, bullies when they're pushed back, those bullies usually just go running for the hills. So we need to wake people up and get people to speak up. As you see here, this is that chef that's no longer with us between uh, Michael and Barry. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and again, this is all part of the system. It's so dark. And I, I remember all the buzz when he was uh quote unquote you know getting ready to be a, a, inaugurated this you know guy that comes out of nowhere and it's gonna change america he, yeah you know we we know what really really happened and again it's all being exposed right now it's all being exposed very 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 um dark and that has nothing to do with skin color <laughs> everything to do with the heart as you see uh let's listen to how he sounded yesterday 46 here i hope this experience for the speaker has been one of a personal revelation i'm not being facetious i uh um 
Anyway. Yeah, you're not doing too good. This particular uh, body double clone, uh, not doing so good. Meanwhile, you have Bobby F. Kennedy doing backflips off a cliff. Uh, yeah, and he was working out without his shirt on and everything. It, it, all the world is indeed a stage. Absolutely. And so, you know, again, as much as we want to hope, we, we have to realize the possibility is out there that this is also part of that controlled opposition. As they get closer and closer to losing total control, they will reveal more and more and more in order to keep it. They'll always add a little bit of a twist, though. I know. Let's pull another rabbit out of the hat. The people are starting to catch on, and they're not liking our last rabbit as much. So we need we need a new, better-looking rabbit that says better things to get people to go along with the plan and be complacent and sit back and not worry about things and not prepare it all has purpose every time you see something on the mainstream when it reaches a lot of people there's a nefarious purpose behind it which is so unfortunate because I <clears throat> I, I like to have my hope I, I love to have hope and really I'll never I'll, I'll never give up on hope I will sit here and remain strong and continue to ease myself out of this system so that I'm not part of the mechanism that's holding it up. But right now, I think if everyone were to start doing that, just baby steps, baby steps back out of the tent so it can collapse, it's going to take a group effort. So you see the statement, this is actually given um, by Medvedev. Medvedev and, and Putin are the only two um, puppets that have been placed in the top position of power and for a very, very long time. His statement is, these morons are pushing us towards World War III. And you have Sunak backtracking after UK defense chief wants to send British troops openly to Ukraine. Uh, yeah, and meanwhile, the word that we're getting, again, there's always that controlling the narrative, is that there's mass surrendering of Ukrainian soldiers on the front lines. You know, of course, they painted it like Russia is falling apart. Russia is dragging 70-year-old men to throw them into the front. Uh, the art of war, you know, and, and it's all part of the bigger plan because we know at some point in time that Red Dawn is going to occur. <clears throat> and it's not far off. It is not far off at all. In fact, we, you know, have gotten from the guides at, uh, back in last December that that was on the timeline. Uh, it, it was slated that it would happen in June of next year. Here we are. We're in October. <clears throat> We're maybe eight, eight, nine months away from seeing war on U.S. soil. And Europe will get steamrolled when, when the BRICS nations really start to go. And, and there will be also an Islamic aspect to this invasion. So this is just saying what's going to happen to Zelensky. Well, he'll end up on some private island somewhere. He'll be playing pinochle with uh, you know that, that Epstein guy. Russia reveals massive trade growth with Africa. Egypt became Moscow's top trading partner. Now, Russia revealed also record crops. They, they are now the dominant wheat producer. You know, it, it, it just shows you the shifting of power is so easy for the power structure. It truly is. Here you have Matt Gates saying, just, you know, stop covering things up and just give us the truth. Uh, give us a full disclosure, you know, about, about the extraterrestrial situation which again you know they have to trickle it out because they plan on introducing you to some ets and they understand it's not too too far off when we get on the other side of 2030 absolutely that that's the biggest thing that comes after 2030 right now it's all about getting to that 2030 but you know, for those of us in NATO countries, we're looking just at that 2025 window because they have a lot of things planned before that. Uh, and here you see a side profile of an 11,000 plus year old, seven foot six inch humanoid statue. I kind of think it was probably a lifelike representation of an individual who was actually this size. Again, you, you have all these different lines of thoughts as to the giants and you'll have people that say all giants were horrible atrocious beings that needed to be exterminated because they were the offspring of fallen angels and that just shows you 
how easy it is to manipulate people. It really, really is. And, you know, again, what happened to the quote unquote giants of which there were so many different ones. I mean, all different types. The Bible even tells you there's different types of giants. And, it, you know, it, what, they weren't one uniform people. But it's the same thing that they've done to many indigenous cultures, you know, all indigenous cultures uh, across the globe, really. It's, it's the same thing as the Trail of Tears. It, it's getting rid of a group that is not easily controlled in order to <clears throat> supplant it with another group that is easier controlled. And that's what's going on right now. It's the game that they play and they continue to go on and on and, and people go by it and they say well these people deserve to be killed you know why because i i read it in the bible you know the bible says it's it's the truth of course it would tell the truth but i mean if you look at the control system don't they just say whatever they need to say to push their agenda and to get past whatever they need to pass i mean they just push people right past everything and then they tell their story and they tell their side of it and they justify thus this is what it's all about it it's about putting information out to justify the acts and even if it doesn't justify their acts they do it anyway absolutely so the James Webb telescope appears to have detected DMS in the atmosphere of a planet 125 light years from Earth. That's relatively close. It's not conclusive proof of alien life, but to the best of our scientific knowledge, DMS is only produced by living organisms. Yeah, it's a slow trickle, slow trickle. They got to get you ready for the big reveal. But then again, they're going to control it. with And, and so many people... I've seen people say, okay, so who is Yahweh? Then is Yahweh El? Uh, uh, well, Yahweh El again. Is Yahweh Enlil? Is Yahweh Enki? Uh, is Yahweh Enu? Uh, and, and the reality is the real power structure is not revealed in the uh, Sumerian texts. Those are just ones that were here. Those are just ones that were involved in, in this particular little uh, part of our particular solar system, you know, the real power structure on, on what we would call Nibiru uh, was not revealed in those Sumerian texts. And, you know, thankfully we can remote view and, and contact the guides and, and get more info on those questions. And so, so many more videos will be upcoming. And again, we would invite you to join us over on Patreon. Make sure you're subscribed to all three channels, Evolutionary Energy Arts, EE Arts, and also Hearts Home, where we go deeper into the truer, more spiritual side of things without the dogmatic doctrine. And just look at these little guys. What's more fun than goats? I mean, who has more fun fun on the planet than baby goats? I, I don't know. They are. They're so adorable. And, and in the meantime, while all of this craziness is going on, we're just going to fight back with cuteness overload. God bless and namaste. Namaste.